What's up? What's up? Happy Thursday to everybody. Welcome to the Helium 10. Ask me anything. We are on episode 22, believe it or not. My name is Bradley Sutton. I'm joined by my partner in crime, Matt Benton. And we welcome you guys to another episode where we're going to go over some tips and tricks using the Helium 10 software. And then we get to all of your questions there. So um, be right before we get into it, right off the bat, let us know if you're uh, if you've been um, watching us for a while or if this is your first time and where you guys are from. If you're new for all the new people, we had somebody from Algeria last episode. That was totally awesome. So the number one Amazon seller in Algeria, maybe. We, <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, um, for those of you every week, there's new people. We love all the new people. They're first time watchers. So for the ones who are first time watchers on this episode, Matt, please let everybody know what Helium 10 is about. Yeah. Welcome, everyone. Uh, we see a couple new faces in here today. Uh, Helium 10 is an all-in-one tool suite for Amazon sellers, uh, the most reliable, most accurate, and best value. We've got over 20 tools now and more coming soon. As always, we're always working on new things. Uh, we've got everything from product research to keyword research to listing optimization, competitor spying, giveaway units to rank to page one, hijacker alerts, keyword tracking, profits, our new financial analytics tool. Those of you who are in there, uh, you're very lucky, congrats, and refunds and everything in between. So uh, to learn more or download the Chrome extension, if you're new, go to helium10.com slash extension. All right. Bradley, what are we getting into today? Well, we are going to get into a little bit, but before we start, uh, I just want to give some shout outs here. We've got uh, Lindsay was the first uh, commenter of the day. Hey, Lindsay. Oren says hello. Uh, Michael is saying hello to himself. He said hello, my. <laughs> Michael said, hello, Michael. All right. Hello, Bradley. Uh, let's see. Paul says, good evening. He says, "We, you guys switched sides. It's freaking me out. Well, I, you missed the other episode. I, I got tired of I was looking at back at the replays. I look so humongous when I'm right there. I mean, I'm big as it is, but this thing added like 60 pounds. So I'm trying to be a little bit away from the, uh, a little bit away from the camera that now, Paul. Um, Oren, he's uh, from actually New York. Cool. And we have Lizzie, first time from Melbourne, Australia. All right. All welcome. right. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, we have another first time. Hello, Michael from Wisconsin. Go Packers, right? I got Aaron Rodgers and all my fantasy team, so I always root for the Packers. Um, and who else we have? Renee from Costa Rica. Bienvenidos. Hello, hello. It's raining over there, I guess. Uh, Reiko. Reiko always like, she doesn't even say hi. She's just like, I'm going to start asking a question like right off the bat. So straight to we, it. I love it, Reiko. We, we love those. So, but before we go further, um, today we had given a little teaser in the description about how uh, uh, one certain tool of Helium 10 is kind of like uh, having direct access to your competitor's CPA or, or their accountants, you know? So, so how is that? So Matt, help them out. How, how, how is Helium 10 like uh, that kind of access? That sounds good to me, right? Uh, so specifically, we're going to talk about X-Ray in the Helium 10 Chrome extension. So uh, in a second here, hopefully Bradley can man the keyboard and the mouse for me, but we'll dive into Amazon and the Helium 10 Chrome extension and open up X-Ray, which allows you to see sales data on all your competitors or the market you're thinking about entering and a number of other things. So let's type in sleeping bag. Uh, my super fast typing skills. Yeah, oh my super goodness. quick. So we got obviously sleeping bag was the keyword. So let's go ahead and open up uh, X-Ray in the Chrome extension. And what X-Ray is going to do is going to show you all the the entries or the products on page one and show you sales data, price. I'm going to steal the mouse from you here. Sure. Bradley there you Sloan. go. Teamwork makes a dream work. Yeah. So those of you who are new, uh, this is for the wait most- a minute, Wait a minute. We're not. We are having some technical difficulties and let us fix it. There we go. I think we uh, should be all good now. Paul, thanks Perfect. for keeping us in check. All right. So this, I'm going to show you how X-Ray for the new users, for your, for anyone who is a current Helium 10 user or you're familiar with X-Ray, you probably know what I'm going to get into. Uh, fairly straightforward. But if you're new, uh, what X-Ray does is shows you sales data on all the sellers on page one 
Uh, if you scroll down further in the page, you can also open up page two by clicking load more results. But for the sake of simplicity today, we'll just stay on page one because that's where the majority of the sales happen. Uh, you can do a number of things, right? So as you're doing your product research, say I found a product, right? I think sleeping bag is the product that I want to get into. Uh, I'll begin doing my product research. So I'll start looking at folks' reviews, but X-Ray is going to show you again, sales and revenue. And you can even click into the graph here to see historical sales and sales by the day, the last 30 days, all time, and just get a more granular look at uh, the sales that that seller is getting. So kind of like having your competitors, say this is my competitor, uh, kind of like having their CPA or their accountant on speed dial, right? So I can call them and say, hey, how much did so-and-so sell on September 10th, right? They sold about 210 units. And the reason why you see a decimal here is because we're pulling numbers really frequent. So you can expect super, super accurate data. Um, and then the green line here is just the seven day moving average. So you can see how it's trending over time. Uh, as the blue line here, the sales spike, the seven day moving average is gonna bump up a little bit just because that day uh, spiked it a little bit. Um, let's see, what else? And again, as I'm going through this answer, feel free to ask your questions. We'll get back to them in a second. Uh, just think about it, guys. I mean, so a lot of us take this for granted. You know, this is Amazon, and we've been using data like this. You know, whether it's in Helium Ten or others, but, but just, um, you know, if if you're have a brick and mortar store, you know, you can't you can't go and and you let's say you have a a bookstore. You know, you're Barnes and Nobles, or you know you you're you're a mom and pop bookstore, and next door is Barnes and Nobles. You want to see well, how many uh, um, Fifty Shades of Grey did Barnes and Noble sell? last Wednesday. <laughs> you right. can't just like go there and get that information. But on Amazon, you can get that thanks to tools, you know, like Helium 10. So it's really powerful. Now, before you go, I don't know if you're going to do this. We didn't practice any of this, but one thing jumps out to me. Do you, do you, do you know what it is right here on this page? Yeah. What uh, is it? It's a big negative. It's a red yeah. number. <laughs> so I'm looking here. I'm like, what is this negative number? This is a semi, semi new tool. And I saw Leron jumped on here. Leron might not even know that we, we have this tool, but, um, Review velocity, what is review velocity? First of all, what does this number uh, represent? Yeah, absolutely. So we just added review velocity about two weeks ago, and that's gonna show over the last 30 days how those reviews are trending for that seller. So the majority of the reviews on this page are all in the green. It means sellers are trending upwards and gaining reviews, and then I'll let Bradley take it away from here. Yeah, so I clicked on the actual review count because I'm like, negative 135 what happened so as we can see here the blue line is the review count and you know here on september 19th it's about 300 or 294 september 23 they added three um and they didn't add any for three days and then all of a sudden september 26 296 september 27 158 they got a uh, part of the amazon review wipe so maybe these guys have been doing something that triggered uh, something on Amazon's side, and you know, unless every day you're checking the number of reviews, you might not even know this happens. Uh, this happened to you. So, if all of a sudden maybe you haven't checked the listing, one of your own listings in a long time, you might uh, go there and say, "I swear I had more reviews," or "Or what's going on here?" So, with this tool, you'll be able to see if you were a victim of the Amazon review mageddon, and uh, sometimes you'll get the review back. You know, so a lot of times you'll see uh, this big dip like this, and then you'll see it go up here. So I think that's really cool. Uh, something that makes uh, our tool unique. It looks like sleeping bag. There's a lot of fake re reviews happening. I've never seen a uh, first page of a results where there's three who on the first page who all lost uh, reviews. So that's just another um, way. And, and again, you don't outside of Amazon, you don't have access. Like maybe people were giving bad reviews to uh, Barnes and Nobles on a certain book, you know, unless they open that up for the world to see, you know, like on Yelp, you can see it. Um, but you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know what's going on, so, but here, here you're able to view that here. And, um, it's not just the unit, the number of sales they do, but it's also the actual revenue, you know, that, that you can get guys. So real powerful, uh, data here with x-ray guys. If you have not used this, please, uh, you know, jump on it. It's, it's actually free to download, yep. uh, right. Free to install. Where do they go to, uh, download the, uh, Helium 10 extension if they don't have it yet? Yeah, you said it, helium10.com slash extension. It's free to download and you can actually jump into X-Ray here. And if you don't have a paid account, you can actually use it uh, 
full blown dive into the tool. There's a good question here, Bradley, but where oh, okay. uh, you can actually dive into the tool for a thousand free uh, results and use the tool without any restriction. So if you're a free user, make sure to download the extension and hop in there. Now, before we get into the questions, we're going to mention this again at the later on in the episode, but let's say you're a new user, um, you you're, or you're a free user and you are looking at some features that we're doing today and you realize that you don't have access to it because uh, you're on the free account. Like for example, you can use exactly what you did here. We, you could do that on the free account, but you can only do it up to a certain time. So you can only run like, you know, maybe, you know, 50 or hundred of these uh, searches before your, your um, counter runs out. So we actually have a special code for you guys. If you guys, and we'll announce this again at the end of the episode, and this is only good for 24 hours. You know, we're not, you know, the kind of people um, otherwise, people like Leron will call us out on it, but we're not the kind of people who are gonna say, hey, this code is gonna be good for this amount of time, and then it's uh, good really for eternity. Actually, did you notice somebody in the uh, in the last episode was like, hey, this code doesn't work. Well, that was because it was two days ago and we already you know shut it off. So we have a special code for today for 50% off for Helium 10 users, and the code is? Sleeping bag one. Sleeping All caps. bag one. So here's the code, 50% off sleeping bag one. If any of you guys are uh, on the fence and just want to have try out the full version of Helium 10, but at 50% of the price, this, this discount is not available anywhere else. We don't have this anywhere on the website or, or even you know, our affiliates or anything. So 50% off, real special, AMA only. Right now is 3.12 p.m. on uh, October 4th. So 3.13 or around there, sometime tomorrow in the afternoon, you're gonna try this and it's not gonna work. So I know a lot of you guys watching the replay. So if just look at your clock, if it's uh, be before October 5th at three o'clock, you still should be able to use this code. Otherwise, wait for a future episode when we might have it. So every single time we do this, our support gets blown up saying, is the code still available? So please take advantage of it as soon as possible. And uh, yeah, let's jump into the questions. Let's yeah, so there's one just on this, You know, somebody probably saw that there's a success success score here. Dan Southwick says, what kind of success score do you look for when searching for product opportunities? So uh, what do you think about a success score of 35, Matt? Uh, I think it's decent. This is There's a ton of traffic and a lot of volume going to, to this market or this keyword sleeping bag. Um, a success score of two stars is good if you've got a lot of money to enter this market in specific. Uh, it's going to take a lot of, of sales or giveaways or however you want to get to page one uh, in order to do that. So that's why I say it would take quite a bit of money to float that inventory and get there. In general, I usually say a score of uh, two and a half stars and above is something that I would look further into. Uh, if I've got quite a bit of money, I would look into this two-star market a little bit. And again, just keep in mind our success score is fairly conservative. So it's really, really rare to see a five star or even a four star. So if you do, uh, I would really take a hard look at the market and yeah, go from there. Uh, and yeah, I don't know anything you would add Bradley. No, that's pretty much it. I mean, as you guys can see, this is still in beta. You know, um, I, I wouldn't use this as gospel, like, Oh my goodness, this had a, a score of 35. So uh, I'm not even going to look at this, you know, listening still guys do the research. This is just meant as a guide. You can mouse over to see what actually is going into the score. You know, we, we, we try not to like say things like, oh, we have, you know, a proprietary algorithm or something hidden, you know, some secret sauce, you know, we try and be real transparent with what goes into our numbers. So you can, if you mouse over this, you can see why we put this number, you know, it's basing it on this one off of the FBA fee percentage, the, uh, price, you know, how the deviation is the ratings, you know, of the seller. So there's a lot of different factors in there, but guys, if you've been selling for a while, maybe you have your own system and actually we'd love to hear it. So if you guys have a system that works, like if you use x-ray and then you're looking for a specific amount of criteria, um, you know, if, if you're down, let us know what your criteria is. Maybe it's something that we can implement in, into the tool. A lot of the stuff that we have guys, it can't, it comes from you guys, the, the users, you know, giving us input on what you would like to see and, and how you do things are like, Oh, that's a pretty good idea. You know, so please, you know, let us know and support. And one last thing about the success score, if you mouse over at Bradley, uh, it's not just those three values. We pull from about uh, over a dozen uh, different values that we've that comprise a success score. And we choose to show about three or four uh, of the values that have the highest impact on that keyword. So 
the ones that show up here on this keyword are the ones that have the highest impact and the ones that that we think you should consider most all right so um let's so thank thank you for that question uh reiko real quick before we get into the questions from last week reiko says um first of all reiko why does it all, why, why in your profile picture does it have all these news are, are, are do you work for the news uh i always wondered i always wanted to ask you that are, are you a news reporter you have those pictures uh there anyways she says when uh you guys talk about cpr giveaways is this the same thing as amazon giveaway in terms of implementation method that's a good question there those are two different things one um thing uh, amazon giveaway a lot of products you know i'm just going to pick one here uh, you can actually do a giveaway on something that's not even your own product so let me see if that's possible on this guy's listing might not be it's only available if they started it you'll see something like at the there there it is right there this is what reiko might be referring to an amazon giveaway and it says amazon giveaway allows you to run promotional giveaways in order to create buzz and and we've got somebody uh a celebrity watching us today uh liron here he's actually ha has some really good uh tips and tricks on how to use the Amazon giveaway service. Now, when you're running an Amazon giveaway, you're not really optimizing it for a certain keyword. And that's what the CPR method does, is helping you to optimize your listing for a certain keyword so that you can get a ranking boost. Amazon giveaway, uh, when I used to do Amazon giveaways, you know, like this here, I would, uh, what you can do is for them to enter the giveaway, you have them like watch a YouTube video or you know go to your facebook or something i'm not sure how it is now but that's how it used to work and so when i want to like promote a new video or one of my influencers videos i would set up a giveaway where i'm buying the product from myself and then it's gonna give it to one person but then only one person out of like two thousand people will win but to enter everybody has to watch my video so all of a sudden i have two thousand people who watch my video and if they lose then they get like a coupon code for my product. So that's just one way to use the Amazon giveaways. But the CPR method is talking about a different kind of giveaway where it's not necessarily giving it away for free, but you're giving it away at a heavy discount and you're sending people um, to, to search something on Amazon to find your product so that your ranking for that product increases. So that's the difference there between uh, a CPR giveaway and what's called an Amazon giveaway. So thank you for that question, Reiko. Uh, we have somebody, another country, Farah from London. Hello, Farah. Tilan, hello. Uh, Glenn is talking about himself in the third person. We got Michael talking to himself, Glenn uh, in the third person here. And Glenn says Helium 10 is awesome. So you get a, a, a shout out. Yuri says hello. Uh, Yuri, I believe from Mexico City, right? Yeah. Welcome, Yuri. Welcome, Yuri. Thank you. And uh, Anka says hello. So thank you, guys. Um, let us know what your favorite tool is for Cerebro. I'm just uh, for Cerebro. You guys know what my favorite tool for Helium 10 is. It's Cerebro. What's your favorite tool? Uh, if you how, no, However long you've been watching us, what's your favorite tool in the Helium 10 suite? Mine is Cerebro. I'm just curious uh, what you guys are. So thank you guys for all the shout outs. Okay, now I have no idea where this is. St. Bartholomew. St. Bartholomew. Hmm. Where, um, Caribbean, yeah, maybe? Yeah, that would be my guess. Please let us know where this is from. This is so cool. We have another country. This is even cooler than Algeria, I think. Breaking I have never news. heard of, I have never even heard of this country in my life. So, right. uh, Jeremy, I love the way you spell your name. I never heard of a Jeremy uh, spelled with that. So thank you, Jeremy. All right, and uh, Troy, uh, hello. Uh, Wendy, I was on the fence, but not now. Wendy, thank you. Welcome to Helium 10 Nation. Thank you, guys. And we got one more uh, question here about scribbles. This is a huge question here. It says, hi, guys. I have a question when using your scribble option, which said bullet points came up to 500 characters each. So I did that. My listing got approved. Only thing that Amazon actually says 100 characters per bullet point now. What happens if I leave one to 500 characters? Are using my keywords going to be lost, unsearchable, because I didn't respect the 100 characters limit? So thank you for that question, Nicolo. As you said, each different category in Amazon actually has different um, character limits for the different fields. And we put a big number there. It's not saying that you can put 500. We just put a uh, 500 in there. But um, uh, Matt, why don't you show them what they can do? Like actually Scribbles is getting a complete makeover. Um, Manny Coates saw the, the preview and he said, it's really cool. I haven't seen the preview yet. I don't think uh, my memory is not what it used to be. But um, until that time, until we get something where you can, it locks in, I think the, you know, what the category limits are, what can they do if they know that they have a certain limit in a, in a category? Yeah, right. And, and some categories do change as Bradley said. So you can actually go to the top right of each field and click the, uh, I guess the pencil and change that limit. So that way it'll keep you in check and you can stay under the limit. 
I don't know if this was in your question. Uh, it was a long question, but you don't want to exceed the limit because if you do, you risk not uh, ranking for those keywords at all. So uh, our limits on the title, the description, bullets, and, and your backend keywords, uh, you're going to want to stay under those for sure. Yeah. So as We're you can see, trying to break things. I'm trying to break it, but it, it, once you put that limit, like I can't enter anymore. Um, I'm, I'm right. like pressing the keyboard you guys can't see right now. So that's what happens. So make sure to do that. If you know, like your category only has a certain limit, but we just put a, a bigger number here just, you know, for the other categories that allow you to do more, but we're going to have other cool things in scribbles. Super cool. We're going to have a, a field, I believe for like subject matter, you know, one for search terms. So scribbles is going to look really cool next Tuesday. Remind me, I want to show them the import ASIN, um, thing. Awesome. Okay. That is something I just learned last week. I totally didn't even know scribbles could do that. And so I, I'm going to, I'm going to go over that, uh, with you guys next time. So Nicolo, thank you for the question. And, um, let's see. Reiko says, thank you for the explanation. Amir says, hello from London. Uh, Troy says, is there anyone in Washington DC? who can explain this. No, we're not in Washington, DC. Um, if you go to uh, Pennsylvania Avenue, there's somebody there who, who might, I don't think he, he uses, uh, he uses uh, helium 10, but anyways, Troy, we have these every Tuesday and Thursday guys. That's, this is exactly why we're here for people like you, Troy, any question you have about how to use a tool, you know, let us know. First of all, are you a new user? Or are you, are you a, a full user? Are you a free user? Or you're just learning about it? regardless, let us know what your question is, where, what your pain point is. And we're here to help you on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And we're even starting something new for, for brand new people. Like if you guys are just signing up today, you're going to have an opportunity to have, um, I don't know, it's not gonna be face to face, but, uh, an actual, an, an extra kind of like ask me anything session for your first, for the people who just sign up this week. So we have a lot of different ways for you guys to get help either on this, uh, on this broadcast, you can email support at helium 10.com. You could show up at Matt's house and knock on his door and ask him. He'd be happy to uh, help. I don't know where Matt lives, so you'll have to figure out where Matt lives. But lots of different ways, guys, to, to get help here. Um, we knew it. Oh, whoop, that was Lindsay's. Refund Genie, because money, that's her favorite, all right? The Ha family uh, has bought cars because of refund. No, I don't know if they've done that. But the uh, Ha family, I know, has gotten a lot of money from Refund Genie. Steven Williams from Trans Labs. He has the coolest... Anybody go to his profile picture. Like this guy has the coolest profile picture that I, I've been trying to, he has this profile picture where like he took a million pictures and he just goes forward. So it looks like he's walking forward. So guys click on Steven Williams uh, profile. <laughs> he has a real cool profile picture and hello from Toronto. Um, Renee says, please give an example on how to execute a CPR giveaway. We could do a whole show about that Renee, but what's the, uh, what's the actual web link where they can go to get the full guide. Sure. Uh, helium10.com slash CPR uh, is going to give you just a full rundown of how uh, we recommend you execute the CPR giveaway. All right, cool. Um, and if you want to see a case study on that, go to helium10.com slash CPR. Uh, Manny did a case study on this last year and had some awesome, awesome results. So if you want to see how that could work for you, go to helium10.com slash launch. Oh, Reiko has an interesting question. Helium 10 has access to valuable info from Amazon sellers. When we signed on, did we by default give permission to have access to all data within our Amazon seller central or none at all? There is nothing, there is, there is no access at all. When you sign up, you know, as you know, you are not linking, you know, your, your personal information or anything, you know, you can use Helium 10 tools without us even knowing if you, without even having an Amazon seller account, the only way you need, or the only times that you have that we link to your account is when you request us uh, to run your reports for like refund genie or uh, inventory protector or hijacker alert, or you're using the profits tool, but we don't use any of, um, you know, your, your data for like, you know, selling data to other, <laughs> I know that there have been some crazy stories I have heard um, out there uh, of companies, you know, abusing that kind of stuff. But that's why when you sign up as a helium timber, we don't even require you to, uh, you know, put your Amazon account unless you want to use one of our tools that, that, that needs it. So be, be, uh, assured that your, your data is safe with a uh, helium 10. Thank you for that question, Reiko. And, uh, Daniel says, uh, he's from Quebec, Canada and his sister and he, he are launching their first product with helium 10 tools. Congratulations. And all right, so now we can finally, I mean, we, we had a lot of questions uh, from the uh, live. So let's go now to some of the questions from last week's episode. 
All right, and here we have a question. This is from, let me get the name, from Jody says, I see that Helium 10 helps find keywords. Wondering if you use a keyword in a PPC campaign, do you have to have it listed somewhere in the front end or back end of your listing or not at all? So that's a really good question, uh, Jody. Um, a lot of these keywords, you know, you find a keyword and then you're like, wait a minute, this keyword looks cool, but I really don't have any room in my listing. You know, maybe we're like, you use it in scribbles and you've maxed out all your fields and you're like, you know what? I, I want to rank for this keyword. I want to, you know, send PPC traffic to it, but I just don't know where to put it. Um, can I still send PPC traffic to it? And the answer is probably not. Um, like if it's a brand name, you know, you wouldn't even have that in your listing. You can't just make an exact search or exact uh, campaign and put a brand name, um, you know, right there and then, uh, uh, have Amazon automatically show it. No, the only times that it does that, which actually is very common is if you have a broad or phrase match, if you like say sleeping bags, right. And you want to, you're hoping, you know, that sleeping bags for men comes up, but for men isn't in your listing. The only chance that I know that you have to get your listing showed for a sleeping bags for men is if you have a broad or phrase match for sleeping bag and then Amazon decides that you guys might be cool for that keyword. So they're going to go ahead and put it out there for a sleeping bag for men because you have it on a broad phrase match. Uh, the other time is if you're doing an auto campaign, right? If you're doing an auto campaign, just like, Hey, uh, Amazon, take the wheel, you know, put my keywords in front of anywhere you can get, you can get, uh, on a lot of crazy, um, a lot of crazy uh, search results that have nothing to do with your listing. It's just Amazon like throwing darts, trying to you know see what sticks. So thank you for that question, uh, Jody. And Oren, Oren had a question. This is from a couple weeks ago. So he might, uh, this, is this the same Oren who's on from New York? Might be. Oren says, can I rank for less competitive keywords even if I don't have much volume in sales? Yeah, absolutely. Um, do you, especially when you first start off, if you like have a list of like 300 keywords, let's say that you think are semi relevant and you just start off, you'll notice that just automatically, you know, without doing a giveaway or without doing PPC, Amazon might just start ranking you in the, somewhere in the top 300. It's very unlikely you're going to be page one, position five for a, a word you've never gotten a sale from. But absolutely, if you're a brand new seller and you don't have many sales, you are still probably ranking for, um, you know, some keywords and then. Uh, whether you go up or down organically is going to depend how people react to your listing. Now, what can um, have that effect? Well, of course, a purchase would have a big effect, but you know, maybe somebody is mousing over it and they, they they view it. I mean, we don't know how Amazon's algorithm works, but you know, I've heard of things like that. They're tracking everything that happens on a session. You know, if you add it to your cart, you know, if you if you stay looking at it for a long time, or if you put it to your wish list or something like that, there's so many factors that we don't know that have to do with it but it's not 100% dependent on sales. You could start ranking for stuff even, um, you know, if you're not if you're not selling any with that. Um, one more question for me, then we'll give it, turn the mic back to Matt. Mike here says, how many keywords do you wanna target for ranking at launch? Another good question. Uh, my strategy is that uh, I used to like to do three to four keywords, and I would make sure that I had at least one seed word in there. So. Like, let's say it's collagen peptides was my main keyword. I target that, but I would also at the same time, the same day target for other buyers, you know, collagen peptides, powder, collagen peptides for men, collagen peptides, grass free, grass fed or, or something like that. Because every time I target another word on the same day that my seed word is in there, I'm getting just a tiny bit of juice extra for that uh, is what I found in my many tests that I did. So I try and kill two birds with one stone by, of course I could have done, okay, Hey, this week I'm going to target collagen peptides. Next week I'm going to target collagen peptides powder, but I'm like, why not just do both at the same time? So they, they work synergistically to get some ranking juice. So thank you for that question, Mike. Um, here's a question from Alex, maybe Matt, if you can handle this, uh, it says, is there a keyword that's giving your competitor a ton of sales? And I'm just starting out in my business. Should I try to rank for that keyword? Uh, it's a very general keyword and I would have to give away a lot 79 per day to rank for it. So if I understand this correctly, um, he's using perhaps uh, cerebro, right? Or, or, or yeah, why don't you ask the answer? First of all, Matt, how do you think Alex knows that um, his competitor is getting sales from this keyword? Right. So 
Alex either went into Cerebro or Magnet, both of our keyword tools. Uh, Cerebro is our reverse ASIN tool. So you can enter in an ASIN and see all the keywords that where that ASIN or that seller, that product is ranking for, uh, and all the keywords where that product is ranking for. Uh, on the other end, Magnet is a seed keyword tool where you enter in sleeping bags, sleeping bags, and it pulls up all the most relevant uh, terms for sleeping bag. But we're in Cerebro here, and I'm guessing uh, Alex went into either one of the two tools and on our CPR daily giveaways column and total giveaways, we're gonna show you the number of units it takes to rank that keyword on page one. So he mentioned that 79 was a lot of units and it, it very well might be. You don't have to target that specific keyword and you don't even know that they're getting sales from that keyword. So a perfect example actually is the page that we're on right now, Bradley's on sleeping bag. Maybe folks don't search uh, with buying intent for the word sleeping bag. However, there's a ton of search volume going towards it. So just for this example, we actually have to give away 179 uh, units per day for over the course of eight days to rank for sleeping bag. So maybe in this case, if that's too much for, for me to give away or sell at a discount or uh, target with influencers, uh, I'm gonna try and find a longer tail keyword that's more manageable and doesn't eat up so much of my, my budget. Um, so that would be what I would say first is target a longer tail keyword. Uh, from there, I think I already mentioned it. Uh, just make sure that, that folks are, I guess, searching this keyword with buying intent, right? Cause again, someone may not be purchasing a sleeping bag when they're, when they type in sleeping bag, maybe it's, maybe there's more buyers, uh, for the keyword sleeping bags for adults and you only have to give away 34 units for that one. So that's what I would say for that. Uh, so how, how would you say? That I, I, I'm saying for a hundred percent certainty that this guy, Abco Tech Sleeping Bag, he's getting tons of sales from searches that come from the search term sleeping bag. So why would I bet my entire life savings, do you think, on that, Matt? Bet the bank. Uh, I would do a comparison. Do uh even here though, like even even this. Why do you think I would be willing just like, I, I'm looking at this and I, I'm going to tell you, Matt, I'll bet you right now, $1 million that this guy is getting, is getting, uh, sales from this. Why do you think I would be so sure? Yeah. A really good indicator. This is, is for any of you guys. So if you could please answer it down below, Matt's probably going to answer right now, but this is questions for you guys. Why do you guys think I'd be willing to bet that if, if hopefully you guys can see the screen, but go ahead and give it away, Matt. Well, the first thing I would do is do competing ASINs, but the second thing I would do is go to uh, the position they're in, because if they're in first position for uh, these keywords, there's a really, really good chance that this seller is getting sales from that keyword. Uh, so again, that's a, the position yep. that they're in is a very, very good indicator that there are sales coming from that keyword. Because if they're on page one, guys, especially for this heavy of a keyword, and look, Paul and Rachel were answering my question, they, they got it too. If they're positioned one on a, a keyword search that gets this much volume, they're going to get tons of sales. And the reason that they're even on here is because they've already gotten tons of sales from that keyword. So uh, Paul, Rako is right. Matt is right with what he said exactly. But that's why I would bet the bank on that. Um, the only way that they you know, would get here is, is from sales. You can't get to page one, position one on a keyword like this without huge uh, organic conversion. So... So that's, um, you know, maybe that's what Matt, uh, not Matt, Mike was saying um, that, you know, he, he knows that his competitor is getting, you know, sales from this keyword. Um, that's probably what he was doing. He was probably looking and says, hey, they're on page, you know, uh, one position, one, two or three. And so, like, I just don't know um, if I should target this keyword. And then that goes into now what Matt says. Yeah, you could do that, but it might be better to do like sleeping bag for adults instead of this one where you only have to give away 34 a day. So Mike. Um, Thank you for that question. Let's see. Uh, real quick, we're going to do a quick contest. No, before we do the contest, because I'm going to lose all these comments as soon as we do this contest here. Um, what else do we have here? We've got a question about... Oh, wait, hold on. This is from... Now, I've, you see, he says, I got the accent on his name right. So now I forgot how he pronounced it. So I'm probably going to mess it up. But I think Nicolo... 
and I don't know how you would say your last name, RSS. I love, I love everyone's names here. They don't have like, they don't have this like plain names like Bradley Sutton or Matt Benton. You know, we got some diversity here with the names. He says, uh, I have another question. Your CPR method. If I had a main seed, uh, seed keyword and Okay, actually, th th later on, I think he actually said that I answered his question. So that one I actually answered without even knowing he asked it. So we'll go off that. Here's another question. Uh, Matt, can you take this one? Jar, Jar from Zargana. Yeah, great question. Uh, is the 50% off coupon code for unlimited time use once signed up? The 50% code is good for the first month. Um, after that, the code goes away. So uh, 50% is probably the best code that we have ever offered. No affiliates. We don't have anything like that anywhere else. So, and guys, first month. if you've used the full version of Helium 10 for one month on this 50% and on day 30, you feel that you want to cancel because you didn't get value out of it. I want you to slide into my DMS and instant message me or do something because I really want to know how you didn't get the value like you know may maybe if you're using the free and you don't have access to all the different tools but please please if you just signed up for this today and you think that maybe it's worth you know the 50 percent, but it's not worth the full on day 30 please uh convince me why uh so feel anybody i, I have it open anybody can send me private messages on, on facebook so i, I really want to know why you didn't like it because i need to know how we can improve because i have never met somebody yet who really you know, is using these tools and thinks that it's not it's not worth it. So let me know. So thank you for that question, Zargana. Um, Jeremy says, when are you launching Helium 10 to the French market? We have some tools that are available, I believe, in UK, right? And there's one other country. Yep, UK um, and Germany. UK and Germany. And so France, Spain, and Italy will be coming soon. Jeremy, please. Uh, we had said fourth quarter, and we kind of beat that for the UK and Germany, but we're still on target for for doing it uh, fourth quarter for for France and um, the other the other two marketplaces as well. Specifically, Black Box we just launched in the UK and Germany uh, a few weeks ago, and now as of last week, uh, everyone in UK and Germany is able to use our Chrome extension, specifically X Ray, uh, as the most used tool. So. Uh, the product research tools that we have now are both available in those two markets. So we had a lot of folks asking about them, and now they work. So okay, moving on. Uh, David says, did they address two-step storefront being less effective yet? No, we have not. Um, but it's actually funny you mentioned that. Uh, we uh, there's going to be an um, AMPM podcast. Uh, for those of you who don't know what AMPM podcast, it, it's run by uh, Manny Coates, who are, is our CEO and. It's one of the longest running Amazon related podcasts that's out there. And uh, those of you make sure to go to the FBA high rollers group. You know, we have over 55,000 Amazon uh, sellers, you know, in that group. And a lot of them are uh, followers of the podcast, but there is just a podcast film where, where we interview the top uh, launch companies out there. You know, I believe uh, viral launch, um, six leaf, um, rebate key, uh, Zon jump, if I'm not mistaken, everybody for a little powwow that goes a deep dive into what is the current status of like Amazon, uh, doing giveaways on Amazon and launch services. So that is a, if there was ever a must see episode of the AMPM podcast, that's it, especially for you, David, if you're interested in that, please make sure to uh, subscribe to the AMPM podcast. How, how can people do that? Um, cause I honestly don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's a number of ways so you can go to iTunes or just go to ampmpodcast.com and we release all the episodes there, uh, in video. Also just from the, you don't have to do it from your iPhone. It can be also from the, the website too. Right. Yeah. You okay. can see all the podcasts from there. So either an audio or video form and we'll post those on YouTube if there's a video. Yeah. That's the way I do know I, I always used to watch, um, the AMPM podcast on YouTube. So make sure to subscribe to that channel too. Cause that might be one you'd maybe want to watch the video on because we have a full video of that podcast, um, instead of just uh, listening to it on your, on your iPad. So thank you for that question, David. Um, let me see. All right. This is going to take up the whole entire screen, I think from Danny. And we're oh, look at that. <laughs> there you go. Danny, hey guys, I'm a pain member and launching my first brand on Amazon right now. I'm surprised this question didn't break be live right now, but, uh, in the supplement space, Whoa, a brave soul. Very good. <laughs> uh, is it Garcini account? No, no, don't say what it is. Uh, right now I'm struggling with writing the optimal listing. That is a very valid, uh, struggle. Um, considering keyword ranking and 
User-friendly readability. Oh, I love that you're bringing these points up. This is very important. I have been using Magnet and looked at volume, but also analyzed the keyword, the keyword, what? The keyword at the top sellers, oh, okay, I'm sorry. The keyword the top sellers rank for in Cerebro. With all that data though, and a limited amount of space and title and bullet points, what is the process you would use to write the optimal listing for an Amazon listing? Thanks in advance. Oh, Danny is, I love this question so much you don't even know, but I gotta like hide it. I'm sorry because we're not gonna be able to see. So I'm gonna see if this has the history of any of my old searches. So let me look in the history of what we've been searching for. A uh, multi-search. Here's one I searched for. Uh, oh yeah, on Tuesday's broadcast. Let me go back a little bit more. No, I'll, do, I'll go ahead and do this one. Let's see what this is. All right. So, by the way, guys, that's one thing you can do with Cerebro. Anything you've searched for, it saves it. So if you want to go back and pull up that search, you don't have to do the search all over again if you don't want to. All right. So let's say this was my collagen peptides product. All right, and I want to get uh, three. Uh, these three guys are the ones I targeted. These guys are absolutely killing it. Um, these guys are selling like thousands of units a month. And they really, in my opinion, they look like, it doesn't really look like this picture, but these are just random ones I pick. Let's just say they look almost identical to my listing. So like, I'm certain that whoever is interested in buying this product, they would probably be interested in buying my product as well. So I want to know what they're ranking for. So Matt alluded to it earlier. His first step, what he would do, would he he would do that ASIN competitor search, and that's exactly what I did. So then I would say, hey, where are these three guys somewhere all ranking on page one for? Like, so it's not just that this guy is ranking for the uh, this one keyword, but I want this guy to be ranking for the same keyword. I want this guy to be ranking for it. But not only that, I want them all three to be on page one. I would pick minimum of three. And from one to 16, and then I'm right now looking for like the top like four or five keywords so that I can make sure to put it in like my title and like most important places. So I'm going to say, let me just look at anything that's over 2000 exact phrase search volume. And then now I'm going to hit this filter and it took this list of 2000 keywords and down to two. And guess what guys, these two are now my two most important keywords because Look here, their competitor rank average is nine. That means these guys are all ranking on page one. And I know I need to be ranking for that too. Uh, Amazon puts ha, has shown, you know, puts different importance. Um, you know, like if you have it in the canonical URL, you might be getting some juice from that. You know, when people uh, hit, on, hit it from a Google search. So I want to make sure that the very first words in my listing that's going to get in my canonical, like this person put pure collagen peptide. So I would probably put collagen peptides powder because look at that. I just put three words in my listing and I just hit two. I just spit on the microphone. I'm sorry, Manny, if you're going to use this later. I'm just so excited about this topic, as you can see. Anyways, I put two of the most important keyword phrases right there at the beginning of my listing because collagen peptides is also a word in collagen peptides powder, guys. And I cannot stress enough how game changing this feature is. This is just a small sample. You could do it up to 10 items but you have the visibility within seconds to find out where your competitors are getting your sale, their sales from. What is the most relevant search term for them is probably going to be the most relevant for you because you have uh, a listing that looks like them. So that's what I would do to pick my title. And then for the rest of it, I just would open this search up a little bit more, you know, instead of saying 1000 search, you know, this, I, I'd maybe go down to 500 and like, maybe there's at least two people, who are ranked for it, but still I'm looking for page one keywords just, just to keep it. Maybe I'll open this up to like 25. So now this list of two and guys, I haven't done any of this before. This is all just on the fly right here. Um, now, now it's 35. All right. So now I have 35 keywords. You can't put 35 keywords in your title, but where else would, you know, you put the second uh, phase of keywords, right? Matt? Bullet points, bullet points, description, search terms. I mean, anywhere. Right. Um, and, uh, that's, that's where I would start. So, that is to me is one of the biggest advantages of helium 10 over anybody else out there is you have this visibility of what keywords are your competitors are ranking for so that you know without a shadow of a doubt that's hyper relevant to your to your listing so thank you donnie for that question if you didn't get at least 10 five or 10 nuggets from what bradley just went into hit rewind after we're done here and uh, play that back. I could listen to Bradley talk about. Uh, I get passionate about this stuff, guys. <laughs> forever. So uh, there's a ton in there, and and make sure you got uh, what he went into. What else? 
John says, is there a way to track the saturation of a keyword in Scribble? So the amount of times it appears in bullets and description, I've noticed indexing for certain keywords is impacted by how often it appears and where. Um, I'm not sure if the new Scribbles will do that, but like, let's say, I'm just gonna go ahead and give a, a preview here of, of what we can do. Um, so I'm gonna do this again in detail on Tuesday. I'm, I'm spoiling it, but this is just kind of cool. So let, I, I don't wanna write a whole listing right now, so I'm just gonna import a listing. I sure hope this works. I've never done this live before. Boom, there we go. Is this a product you wish to import? All right, oh, 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 look at that. I'm gonna go into the deal. This is so cool, guys. As Manny would say, what would Manny say? How cool, How cool is, is that? that, all right? So I just put this listing right here. Oh, I kind of feel good. That, that kind of worked exactly how I was hoping it would, all right? So like, let's say I wanted to copy all of this. I'm gonna open up uh, Frankenstein. I have never done this before, but since you mentioned it, this is an interesting point, all right? I would know, you know, based on how many times I used it here, um, you know, maybe, but like, let's say I want to go back and see how many times, you know, something is in the listing. I could just like copy different places like description. I'm going to put that here. All right. Um, I'm just going to take this bullet point. I'm putting it into Frankenstein, just copying it right in here. I'm putting this bullet point. Let's just say I just did the whole listing. All right. So I have 1000 or uh, 960 characters, 309 words. How um, how many do I have words that repeat? What is the what what word did he use? Saturation? Yeah, saturation. Or some people say den uh, density sometimes. So I'm going to not remove duplicates. Where is that? Uh, one phrase per line. Uh, single letters. I swear it's here. There's something where I can put the um frequency where where is frequency oh here it is here it is there it is right there okay let's see if this works oh wow that was fast all right so now boom right there so you know of course i i didn't remove the i didn't remove i have a one so i can remove single words i can remove single letters i can remove common words i didn't do that but now if you're wondering how many times is sleeping in my listing boom right here sleeping is in nine times um bag is seven times design is six times so i hope that answers your question john but that's just the way right now i would do it just since you caught me a little off guard with that question i didn't even know this was possible but it is let's see here um david david this Experienced sellers launching recently. I've seen apparent penalization as a result of two-step URLs in the past three weeks. Thoughts? These are sellers extremely experienced at launching. This so far is might be considered fake news from some people because we just had the top guys on yesterday. You'll see this. You'll see this um, broadcast uh, next Tuesday, I believe. But they're they're not seeing that um, now. I personally have noticed. I've been. I, I'm a data junkie. All right. I love analyzing data, and um, I have a. Uh, some of my friends have Amazon accounts and they show me, Hey, this is what I'm doing for, for email blasts and email giveaways. And they tell me, um, here, look at my data. Tell me if you see any trends. Now I noticed that it's less predictable, maybe certain URLs. Um, but there, there's been no penalization in the history of, of giveaways. I, there has never been a documented one case where an Amazon account got penalized or deleted or, or suspended because of a giveaway. And now each of these giveaway services, guys, the guys who we had on yesterday in the past two years, they had done a combined, I think it was something like 160,000 launches <laughs> between these four companies. And there has not been one ever um, that was suspended or, or penalized in any way. So um, there are other things that make people think that uh something there's some kind of penalization going on like what do we see now with the search you know, with search results lately like somebody might be on page one position five but then tomorrow they're all, like what yeah so amazon's doing a ton of things where keywords and you can see this in keyword tracker especially if you hit uh the oh i'm blanking the launch uh icon but you can see the keywords tracked by hour. And what you'll see is the keywords jumping all over the place. And before, this is a normal thing, right? Amazon was always showing different results to folks uh, based on location and time of day and then things like that. But now we're seeing uh, keywords jump all over the place. So again, you won't see that in a lot of other tools, but you can see that uh, hour to hour in keyword tracker with the boost feature. All right, so thank you for that question. But again, guys, um, I think somebody from our back end here put this on here. So let me just put that there. Guys, go to ampmpodcast.com. 
I'm embarrassed to say that I have not done this. I need to do that. I just watch it on YouTube, like I said, but ampmpodcast.com, you'll be able to get that, um, get that very, very important. Actually, there, there might be another one coming out today, right? A different episode coming out today about, uh, yeah. I think reviews uh, might be. So it's, don't just sign up for the AMPM podcast for that episode. There's so much value that Manny Coates gives, guys, uh, on the AMPM podcast for free. There's no subscription or anything. It's 100% free, pure value, guys. So please um, go to that website, and you're going to get a good one today about reviews and another awesome one on Tuesday. Um, somebody has uh, missed the code earlier. So um, there's too many questions here, guys. We're not, we're not going to get to all these questions. So let me just show the code again. This is for 50% off the first month of Helium 10, the full um, platinum, yep. called? Full, full platinum plan, 50% off. And what's that code, Matt? Sleeping bag one. Actually, it's 50% off platinum diamond or any of the a la carte. Oh, I didn't even uh, know that. Tools. So anything that you sign up for, 50% off of month one. All right. And uh, guys, there's a special uh, thing that's just coming out. For anybody who has signed up in the last week, you now get an extra kind of like not one on one, but like one on many, um, you know, case with me where you can ask me just like on, as you can see on here, there's a lot of questions that we couldn't get to. But uh, I'm going to try and get to all the questions that we get for. So for any new users, we have that new training that you can do. So get your questions ready for that. And I'd love to to go over that with you. I have my first one tomorrow and then we'll probably do another one uh, on next Friday. So, guys, 50 percent off sleeping bag one. If you're watching this on YouTube or you're watching this on the replay. And it's after October 5th, 3 o'clock p.m. It's possible. Uh, it's not going to work. Uh, sometime around 3 to 4, it's going to go off. Um, so you'll have to wait for a future episode. And guys, feel free. You know, if you want to be gre you know, greedy, you know, I understand that. But, but don't be greedy, guys. Sh share, share this coupon code if you know one of your friends. Amazon seller is interested in trying this out. You know, maybe they're using other tools. Wonderful. You know, but let, let, let them try it. Let them try, uh, try it out to see why you love helium 10 so much. So we're going to do a quick giveaway. Lindsay last episode was the winner of it. Um, I am going to write the a tool and I'm going to show, I'm going to show Matt what that tool is. This is not showing on the screen. All right. So write that down. All right. Got it. All right. Got it. All right. So Matt is writing down this tool that I just picked. It is a tool somewhere is a helium 10 tool. Um, all right. So guys, it's a helium 10 tool. Um, that's somewhere in our complete suite, uh, or repertoire of tools. I am thinking of it. What is it? The first person who gets it is going to win a free, uh, helium 10 t-shirt. Actually the black one. We've got over 20 tools now. So you pretty much one, but one to 20 guess one of the tools that Brad. So start, just start rapid fire guys. Start. Uh, I hope I can keep up. And as soon as the first person gets it, I am going to mention it. Um, let us see. Okay. No, it's not Frankenstein. Uh, it's not X-Ray. It's not Cerebro Danny. It's not Scribbles All Prime. I love that name, by, by the way, All Prime. Uh, it's not Cerebro Lizzie. It's not 5K Checker. It's not Black Box. It's not Profits. Not Keyword. Oh, we have a winner. We have a winner. All right, guys. We got a winner. Martha. Profitability. Profitability calculator. And I wrote it on my hand. My mom would kill me. <laughs> never write on yourself. But profitability calculator is the winner. We need to start bringing a pen and paper, piece of paper to this. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, that's kind of, uh, we got to use something else other than Matt's hand here. So, all right. Um, who was it? Was that Margaret? Or oh, no, Martha. Martha, please uh, send Matt or myself a private message with your sh shirt size and your shipping address. And uh, those are cute dogs, by the way. If you want to have us extra small, you know, maybe to cut for a have a, our first Helium 10 uh, mascot right here, we could do that too. But otherwise, we have sizes from ec uh, extra small, I believe, all the way up to uh, double XL uh, for any of you guys who win these contests. So please, uh, Martha, send us your address so that we can get that to you. Thank you guys so much. We we barely even got to the questions online because there was so much interaction today. We had uh, we had over 100 comments. We appreciate it. Our next uh, broadcast is when? Next Tuesday at 10 a.m. Pacific. 10 a.m. Pacific. One last thing for those of you 40 who are left on here. Uh, let me hide this current comment and put this back up here. For those of you 40 who are left on here, how did you find out about today's broadcast? Did you just see it in, you know, at the top of FBA High Rollers uh, room? Or did you see it at the top of the Helium 10 users group? Or... Um, did you get a um, messenger notification or let us know how you knew about today or you just know that, you know, 
you're we're here every every Thursday at 3 p.m. We're just curious. We want to see you know where you guys are getting the visibility of it. So uh, thank you guys again for joining us. And Tuesday, 10 a.m. Pacific time, we'll be we'll be back. And again, for those of you watching the replay, 50% off sleeping bag one, all in caps. My name is Bradley Sutton. And Matt Ben, thank you guys so much. Have a great weekend, guys.